A lap two, trouble for race and points leader Kirkwood sliding off track at turn 17. That error handing the lead to Skylar Robbins. So I had to go off there and go way off and then bring it back onto the track. Still spinning at 11, handing the lead over once more to Skylar Robbins. I wasn't expecting it to be that loose going into the one corner, and I was pushing really hard and just spun out by myself. Ended up locking our front tires and uh, forcing me off the track. And, uh, in return, I got grass in the radiator screens, and the car started to overheat, so I had to shut it off. A lap later, trouble for a couple of the F4 youngsters. Vincent Kristoff in the three car, Ken Vaccaro in the 16, getting together while battling with Christopher Gumprecht in the 97. Vaccaro off course. It causes a full course caution. The 16 machine developing mechanical issues from the contact, not able to move. But wait, there's more. Still on lap one. Kiwi Motorsports Brandon Leach and Group A Racing's Jonathan Scarallo get together in turn 14. Well off the inside of him, so I had to try to get out of it. Uh, he went sideways and uh, came back across and collected me and sent me uh, backwards off into the wall. Uh, you know, I haven't seen a replay or anything, but, you know, Leach. Meantime, the young Texan, Austin Kazuba, in his own 27 car, had a front row seat to the incident between Leach and Scarallo. And on lap two, Austin found himself in trouble. On the, on the braking zone and went around and uh, somebody, somebody coming in through the field hit us from the rear and that, that was that. Late race yellow would wave. No brakes on the 16 car of Kent Vaccaro going down into turn one. Not the place you want to lose your brakes. A hard hit to be sure. Young Kent taken to a local hospital for evaluation. Good news though, he's okay.